My name is Maria Hyatt. I am the City of Phoenix Street Transportation Department Director. Um, and my team, along with contractors, were the ones that worked closely with the school and the community um, to be able to um, rededicate that bridge and make it as fresh as it was when it was installed 10 years ago. So welcome everybody this morning. We have a, a whole crew of people who want to speak and tell you um, important things. And the first one is Christina Parks with our Phoenix um, Office of Arts and Culture. We're going to welcome her to the stage and she's going to talk about the art features. Hi, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I am absolutely astounded and love the community that's here um, that lives around this bridge. This bridge was created 10 years ago and we're here today for its 10th year dedication. Um, it really was this collaboration between the city departments, the community, as well as Isaac Middle School in order to create a safer corridor between the stretch of 35th Avenue and McDowell for students to be able to cross over this busy road. Um, the unique design of the Ed Pastor Bridge was developed through a collaboration with the artists Rosemary Longwolf and Jacobs Engineering. Uh, Rosemary Longwolf is a fourth generation potter and she belong, uh, she's part of the um, Santa Clara Pueblo Tewa tribe in northern uh, New Mexico. How many people have gone by the bridge and sort of wondered what the visuals are that were part of it? Oh, you guys are all experts. Okay. All right, I don't even know who you're talking. Well, um, if you look at the unique span of the metal cage of the bridge, it really it depicts two birds in flight. And those birds are taken from geometric patterns from uh, Native American pottery that is found in this area. And so uh, Rosemary, who is a potter, uh, took this imagery and decided to create uh, these patterns that really bring in together what it means for two cultures to come together for uh, not only the, um, the, the bridge as a physical connection that is a safe corridor for students, but also a connection point between the multiple cultures that we have here in the city of Phoenix. In addition to the bridge up top, below, if you look at the, the columns down below, you'll see imageries of ancient traders trading corn back and forth. And again, it's this concept of cultures passing through location that really makes this bridge unique to this area. Uh, in addition to the bridge, there is also a southern parking lot for people to drop off their kids, as well as landscaping throughout this area and uh, four amazing transit shelters created by the artist Leticia Huerta. Uh, the bus shelters feature beautiful ceramic murals um, and also perforated backings that depict agave leaves in bloom. If you have any other further questions about the artwork, I can talk your ear off at any point. <laughs> um, I really think that this bridge and the streetscape and the transit shelters are really such a unique and beautiful piece and help and really are a part of the fact that the community that came in this air, that are from this area came together and called out a need and together we found a solution. So thank you very much. And next I want to um, bring up Chief Jerry Williams to the stage. So why does it feel like we're in church? It's so quiet. This is, this is an amazing day of celebration, a day of community, a day of coming together. Um, Miss Evelyn is what I'm going to call her, is the catalyst behind us being here. That coupled with Congressman, and you'll be Congressman for the rest of my life, just by the way. So co Congressman Pastor also, when the community connects with people in our elected body, when the community connects with law enforcement, when the community connects with everyone who's in here, great and amazing things happen. The men and women in blue and from the Phoenix Police Department, y'all, thank you so much for being here. We so appreciate our police officers. We also appreciate all city staff. So when you think of the city, it's not a silo. You think of a group of individuals. So our parks and rec staff, our development staff, our neighborhood services, give it up for all city of Phoenix employees because they're amazing. So we are proud to be here to support this effort. Enjoy the day. We're blessed to be part of this community. We look forward to engaging with you and to Miss Evelyn. Thank you so much, dear, for being the advocate for safety in this community. You are loved. Thank you.
As I mentioned, there were several dignitaries that I didn't introduce because they get to come up and speak, and one of them is Congressman Ruben Gallego. Thank you, and thank you everyone for being here. Really, none of us would be here except for two people. If it wasn't Evan Shapiro and Congressman Pastor, uh, that combination got us this bridge. Uh, I was just actually talking to Congressman Pastor, and he was telling me the stories of, of, of basically where the genesis of this is. The genesis is, of this is Mr. Shapiro calling Robert Meza, Council Member uh, Tom Simplot, uh, and then, of course, uh, Congressman Pastor, uh, and urging uh, a new pedestrian bridge because there were kids that were getting hurt uh, crossing uh, this area. Uh, and something that I think is very important to, to, that we note is that you know, there are a lot of areas of, this, uh, of the city of Phoenix that have uh, you, know, you know, traffic problems, kids walking across. But the fact is this area commutes, they walk. They walk all the time. Uh, and Evelyn was dedicated to making sure that this area uh, had at least uh, somewhat of a safer uh, walk than, than, you know, than normal. And through her dedication and through the magic of Congressman Pastor and this beautiful thing called earmarks, which we were talking uh, back in the day, that they were essentially able to create this. And I really hope that many of us, especially all of us in politics, can say that we're able to make uh, things happen uh, and things get built uh, like Congressman Pastor uh, has done. So uh, thank you again, Evelyn. Thank you, Congressman Pastor, for uh, this great bridge. Uh, this community truly deserves it. And Congressman Pastor, you definitely deserve this honor. Thank you, guys. And one of the things that I know that we, um, we got a phone call from was um, Councilwoman Pastor and making sure that the Street Transportation Department, the Arts Commission, and everybody else was making sure that they were taking good care of the bridge and the Isaac School community. So I want to introduce Councilwoman Pastor. Good morning. Buenos dias. Como están? Buenos dias. Como están? Um, I just, what I have to say is I just have a, a gratitude for the community uh, that lives and protects their area. Uh, if it wasn't for Evelyn, and it wasn't just Evelyn, it was many, many people, it was a whole collective that was responsible in getting the bridge here. The bridge really represents safety. It's safety for our families to cross the street, it's safety for the kids to come back and forth to school. And ultimately, we wanted to eliminate deaths. So as a collective, as a community, a community came together to push for this bridge. What is awesome about the bridge is the beauty and the artwork and the thought that went into the bridge in order for it to represent our community. And as I was driving down 35th on my way into here, uh, making a left on McDowell, one of the busiest streets in the city, one of our little hot spots, as uh, the men and women in blue understand that word, I was able to then study the bridge and look at the bridge and look at the beauty of our community. Because what it really does, it represents our community. So I want to thank everybody that was part of the bridge. I want to thank those, uh, I don't see them, but there's a family here who are here today. Uh, Lisette and her sister and her parents are sitting right here, who along with Evelyn and many others, the little one, I forgot the little one, and many others who maintain the bridge. Because it's not, it's been 10 years. And the maintenance of the bridge is every is constant and every weekend. So Evelyn and a group of community leaders, because I consider these youth community leaders, come and clean. There's seven of them come and clean the bridge every weekend to make sure the graffiti is gone, that the lights are replaced, that. Uh, Evelyn, make sure that I am looking up way above on the bridge to see a safety issue to make sure that it gets fixed. And ultimately, I'm responsible for getting, making sure the maintenance of the bridge and it's safe. So I want to thank that collective and that community for continuing to keep this bridge safe. So thank you.
And now I'd like to welcome up Mayor Williams. It is absolutely fabulous to see this many people here, and I will say you know how to throw a party. If you think back, I know I've recognized many of you, and we've worked together sometimes 25, almost 30 years around this city. And if you think back 30 years ago, even 25 years ago, if you went downtown Phoenix, there was nothing there. You were lucky if you could catch a bus to go down there. There was no light rail. Sky Harbor needed a lot of help. And I will say you were wise enough to vote and put in office a man who truly cared about public service. He cared about the community, and we would not have light rail today. Sky Harbor would not be what it is. If you look at the buses we have today and the continuing great streets, it would not have happened without Congressman Pastor. He has been our benefactor. He brought home our tax dollars to this state and to this community and put them to work for you. He is a great man. I have known him for many years, and he is a great friend. Uh, Lord tells me he's a great father. And uh, I would like to have Ed join me at the podium. Would you please welcome him? We have a little surprise for you that will go on the most fabulous bridge in the state. Good morning. Buenos dias. What a beautiful day. Uh, thank you very much. I want to uh, thank uh, uh, the congressman, the councilwoman, the mayor, Maria, and uh, the Parks Department for being here. Ed Zucker is here, I think. Uh, and so uh, thank you for being here. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure and honor uh, to be here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Carl Hayden uh, Color Guard, uh, young men and women from the Falcons of Carl Hayden. Uh, they're very active with ROTC, and I want to thank them. How about a round of applause for them? I want to thank also Isaac School District. Uh, I know I have the superintendent and the principal and and Kathy, one of the uh, school board members. Uh, I've had a relationship with this school district over 50 some odd years since I was in public life. Uh, my wife uh, worked here at uh, Isaac. Uh, Laura uh, was a teacher here at Isaac. And so I've always had a great relationship with the leadership and faculty and staff of Isaac. And I want to thank them uh, because uh, they've been supporting of a lot of the efforts. I have to tell you that at Udall Elementary School, elementary school or was it middle school? Elementary? Anyway, at Udall School, uh, we probably helped uh, thousands of uh, men and women who wanted to become citizens, and Evelyn was involved in the effort. But Isaac School District provided their uh, gymnasium and provided the, uh, the hospitality and their workers. And from that effort, thousands of people uh, became uh, uh, citizens. But uh, in all the efforts that we've had, Isaac School District has always been very supportive, and I want to thank them uh, for all the help they've given me uh, in, in the past years. Uh, it's fun to be here, Becca Isaac. Uh, 
As uh, the councilwoman told you that the, the bridge was about safety. Uh, the community got involved and uh, they wanted a piece of art that not only was a pedestrian bridge, but also was a piece of art, a landmark in uh, this part of town. And so the bridge, I think today, is not only uh, a crossing for the safety of our kids and, and people that want to cross uh, McDowell, but I think also it's an illustration of public art and what can be done with a structure that serves the public and will also be a landmark uh, for people that want to see a public art in the city of Phoenix. And I have to congratulate the city of Phoenix because not only here at 35th and McDowell, but throughout the city, they've been enhancing uh, our community by public art. Uh, as you've been told by a number of people, uh, the advocate that approached, uh, uh, approached me and other elected officials for this bridge was uh, Evan Shapiro, and she had the support of her uh, husband, a doctor, uh, and uh, with them, uh, this effort uh, became a reality, and so it was through, through the advocacy of uh, Evelyn and the doctor and people that uh, supported them that, that, that the bridge is here today. And as you've been told for the past 10 years, a number of young men and women and their parents and Evelyn and the doc have been coming and maintaining the bridge. In fact, I think I saw Ed Zucker on Channel 11 uh, give uh, Evelyn a, a, an award as one of the volunteers uh, for working on the bridge. So I want to thank all the people that worked on the bridge to make sure that it was properly maintained throughout the uh, period of time. And most of all, I want to thank all of you because of, of your support. Uh, I was able to spend some time not only in Congress, but as the Board of Supervisors, and together we were able to to do many good things for the city of Phoenix. So uh, th on behalf of my family, I thank you very much, and I hope you continue to enjoy the bridge, and have a great day, and thank you for being here. Muchas gracias. So you put up a bridge, and it helps connect the city gets one neighborhood across to school and then back at the day. Um, but you also need the eyes and the ears. You need the advocates. You need the people who are out there who are keeping an eye on things, making sure it's clean, make sure it's taken care of. And unfortunately, we can't be everywhere as city employees um, as responsible for this. And so it truly takes the special people in the community who are willing to take the time and go out there and take care of things and then let us know when something needs to be done. And Evelyn Shapiro is our eyes and ears, one of our eyes and ears here, but we do want to recognize Evelyn. Evelyn, you want to come up and say a few words? Thank you. I really am proud to see all of your faces here, to know that you understand why that bridge was built lost three children, they're in heaven, I hope, and lost many children to the hospitals because hit and runs. And when I became a board member, my first thought was, I want to stop this from happening. I was on your board for 16 years. And let me tell you, any time we needed something, I knew who to write to. I wrote to my mentor, Ed Pastor. And everybody in this world needs to thank Ed, because Ed came when needed. He told me, had he known that we needed that bridge, we'd have hit it much sooner. Well, Ed, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all that you've done to help me get our bridge up and going. And I'm glad to see they got a new plaque for you. Oh, that plaque is gorgeous.
no, no wires on it. Okay, we want to be able to read this all. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you for being there, too. Ed, thank you for seeing that we got the things that we needed done quickly and done. I want to introduce to you a few little kids. They started from the age of uh, Kevin. How old? How old are you now? How long have you been helping me with the bridge? Two or three? Okay. And then we got three of them sitting over there. We have um, Angel. Couldn't have any other name given to him. He is an angel. He's right there to help out. And whatever I need, he's right there. Now we introduce you to the top. This is Carmia. And Carmia is in the ninth grade this year. Carmia has been with, with me, what, five years? Carmia, every morning, a Saturday morning at seven o'clock, she's with me and these are with me. And we have now, my pride and joy, is Lizette. Lizette is now going to an all-woman's Boston school for college. All her, um, I can't think of the word I want to say now, her scholarship. She's got a scholarship for everything. That is to the, every one of my children, I call them mine because they're with me every year uh, at the time, but they are there for me. Kinsianas, love that. Uh, we got another one coming up this October, November. Now, for all of you to understand, there's no way I could do it. My husband, he's right there. We never allowed the children to take any graffiti off in the bridge because there's chemicals in that. He would take the chemicals off, take the graffiti off. The kids would be the pickers and pick up all the trash and put it in the bags. When you see these kids out there on Saturday morning, please beat the horn, say hello to them. They need to know that you really do appreciate it all. And one group was not mentioned when they were mentioning the different uh, things that we're doing. And that's the wake up group from Isaac Middle School. They are there every Thursday and cleaning the bridge to make sure everything's picked up. They also are not allowed to touch the graffiti. We have a graffiti person that we uh, can get in touch with if Dr. Shapiro's not able to get uh, there. They uh, will come and clean the graffiti off. We are very blessed to have a bridge that protects our children. Our children, the adults, the senior citizens. Oh, let me tell you, the senior citizens love it the best because they know that they can go across and not going to get harmed in any way. So Ed didn't just do it for our school, for Isaac Middle School in the district. He did it for our whole community. And we didn't get it by just one little, uh, I know I'm supposed to shut up. <laughs> but I would write letters to him with water on him, letting him know the tears that having people lost. And that their people helped me to do the things I was. Thank you once more for coming today. And thank you for sharing our thoughts with Ed. We love you. Um, but again, a project like this um, with repainting the bridge doesn't go without a whole lot of work on the back side of it. So I need to thank my staff. Um, so Mark Glock, um, our deputy street transportation director, and Aaron Romero, um, who did a yeoman's job on making sure our plaques. The painting of the bridge and the landscaping work was also done, um, so a special thanks to all of them. And enjoy today, 
get around to all of the booths, say hi to everybody, be good to each other, and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.